Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I would be showing you how to place an OCO order, otherwise known as a one cancels the other order, in the CQG desktop platform. If you're not already familiar with the term, as I mentioned previously, an OCO stands for a one cancels the other order. This is a pair of orders stipulating that if one order executes, then the other order is automatically canceled. An OCO order combines a stop order with a limit order. When either the limit or the stop price is reached and the order is executed, the other order automatically gets canceled. Experienced traders use OCO orders to mitigate risk and enter the market. It is more than likely that many traders on the market already have a position established, but this tutorial will assume that no position has been established. So I will be placing three orders instead of two. So if no position has already been established, you're first going to want to open up the hot or the hybrid order ticket, also known as the dumb chart. And once you have this open, you'll need to expand the trading sidebar. To do this, click on the arrows down here on the bottom right. As you can see, you can open and expand it. Once you have your trading sidebar open, you are ready to place your OCO order. Now, there are actually two methods of doing so. You can first establish a position in the market if you haven't already done so. You can do this by simply putting in a trade and then confirming. And then by using the OCO button, placing your other two legs of the OCO order. Or the second option is you can place all three trades or orders at one time. To do this, click the OCO order button and it'll turn orange. Now you can click on the market to where you would like to place the three legs of your trade. So first, I'll establish a position at the market price at a long. As you can see, a little one position here tells me that I've placed my first trade. Then I'd like to place my stop loss order. So I'll go below the market and place a stop short order. You can see here in the short section, I've placed my stop loss. And then I can put my target profit order. If I scroll above, above the market and place a short limit order, you can see here, I have that confirmation by the little one on the short side of my dome. And now if you may have noticed under the OCO order button, there is now a confirmation of three orders being placed. And if I click this, I get one more confirmation with my three orders and the descriptions of them. And now I can place my three orders. Now I'll show you the other method of placing the OCO order. It's the same process. You still click on the OCO button, but first we would establish our position outside of the OCO trading button. So let's say for example, I screwed up on my last trade. I can right here on the bottom, right? Cancel all orders and go flat on them. As you can see, my position has been liquidated and I get a confirmation up here. So let's say I wanted to now go short into the market. So I'll place a short at the market price, place my order, and then I can follow the same steps as I did before. Activate the OCO button. And this time, since we entered in the market at a short, we will be doing the opposite of what we did before since we were at a long underneath the market price we will be placing a limit order and above the market price, we will be placing a stop long order. Now you can see in the OCO button, I have submit to, and if I le left click on this, I get confirmation of my two long orders and I can place my order. Now I have the two legs of my OCO order in place to mitigate losses. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.